So I finally got hold of the S3 Pro head strap from Bobo VR. It's actually been sitting in a box for quite some time. Been a little bit too busy with my other channel, so I haven't actually got around to doing some content for this channel. But I thought I'll come back with my impressions of this S3 Pro. Now I haven't actually unboxed it yet. We'll be going through this together and I'll be showing my initial impressions in this video. So the biggest differences between the S3 Pro and the M3 Pro are quite a few new additions for this particular head strap. Not only is the battery improved for the Quest 3, so it's got to reduce the amount of decharging that you do whilst you're playing and charging at the same time. It has an active airflow fan at the front, cool you down, whether you're using it for fitness or, or you just generally get hot in games, there's this active fan that sits at the front there and it's all built in so you don't have to worry about extra cables that are running around the head strap and as well as the top band adjustment that's new you've got a kind of digital display which basically tells you how much charge by the percentage how much you've got left in the actual battery pack like the m3 pro you do have a replaceable battery pack that comes inside the s3 pro packaging as well so you actually do have one to charge up and you can obviously buy additional battery packs for almost unlimited charge of your headset now this is our first or at least my first halo strap for the quest 3 specifically i've covered a number of halo straps for the quest 2 but this will be my first halo strap for the quest 3 there are plenty of other alternatives that are out there but i thought this is probably the pinnacle of where we need to be for a halo head strap for the quest 3 they haven't supplied this for review i've bought this out with my own money so let's first get inside the box and see what comes with the head strap all right so here's what you get inside the box you get a additional user manual for the battery pack in the box you get a charging cable for charging the battery pack and therefore the quest 3 as well at the same time you get the battery pack itself which is 5000 milliamp hours and lastly we have just the bottom which i find quite odd addition to the lower part of the rear part of the strap now i never got the changed version of the m3 pro actually i had the m2 pro for the quest 2 and um, i never actually had that honeycomb material i thought this was going to be a lot thicker but so maybe they changed that in the one that i've received so let's cast these aside and look at the actual headset so the headset is definitely really good quality there's no doubt about it that um they've kept their level of quality you've got the battery pack part a little bit higher up so that's going to help with balancing an integrated cable to the actual sort of brains of the whole system inside here that's where the display is going to show and a toggle wheel for probably changing the velocity of the front fan there's the front fan there you can see the fins that are there and then you've got the left and right sliders for the side rails the adapter to plug into your quest 3 and then on the inside we've got really nice padding uh, with pleather material on the outside and you've got bobo branding and rear head pad foam there as well the jog wheel is on the inside rather than on the outside of the m2 pro and m3 pro so you have to get your fingers over it it's a little bit more sticky in a rubber you know hands don't slip on this which is nice to see and this comes out fairly big so it's good for big sized heads and the construction is definitely there this actually comes over a little bit See, it comes over the top, so it's going to crown the back of your head quite well, hopefully. And um, it's up to you whether you want to use this foam pad or the honeycomb pad. don't know if uh, this makes any better. We'll try either, and I'll let you know which one's my favourite. So let's get this attached to our Quest 3 and see how well this whole thing runs. So this is the Kiwi Design Elite strap that I'm taking off. This is probably my preferred Elite-style strap, so you've got two king makers here you've got the halo version elite version best of the both camps i personally feel but we need to take off the strap right so we've got our quest 3 here uh ready to attach the halo strap onto so being a halo strap not many do use a top strap so we're going to put our amvr facial interface back on so we don't need to pass a strap through this top part here and then simply slide this strap using these side rails down the side so whereas before they had like uh free wheeling there's like little adjustments there um very tough so they're definitely gonna stay on your quest but unfortunately you've got to sort of make sure that both are the same setting otherwise it could tilt the whole entire head strap on your quest 3. i'm going to bring this in 
slide it down. It's a little bit tricky, but again, you have to make sure that this doesn't touch the Quest 3, otherwise you can't bring it over. A few moments later. Oh, this is a thing I heard about. So if you've got the NVR, this probably won't work with it because the slip is so high. So we might have to go back to stock, but we're going to give it a go. And um, I don't think it's going to work though. Bring up a bit more, slide it down a bit more. All right, we're in. So there's no stoppers at the end. Uh, so I'm going to bring it as far to the ends here and here, and um, I'm gonna leave it there. But I have a feeling that this and the top pad might not work well together. We'll see in a minute. Again, this is also ratcheted slightly, and it can't go, it can go all the way up. So you can show you the whole thing now. So bit of a gap there, but it is uh, a little bit tricky, because I'm gonna have to bring these down. That's down. So we have to get this on our head and see if it actually works. Otherwise, we're gonna have to go and put the original facial interface in. So the power cable gets connected to the Quest 3, like so. And then we're gonna put a power brick on the back here and hope that it's charged. Got a nice little bing. So that's really good to know when you're putting the pack on. And immediately we've got 26%. Now I've had this sitting around for probably over a month and um, it might have drained in that time, but 26% out of the box. And another thing that's new is that these can be adjusted and they kind of like go up rather than sort of slide down. So if you can see that part there, if I push it down, you see how much more gap that creates. And if I bring it up, it goes up. So it's kind of like raising them rather than sort of bringing them over, which is what I thought was the case initially. So I'm gonna break, put them up to the max and let's get this on my face. Right, so we're on. Um, I'd say getting these clipped in on the sides uh, so that they're actually parallel or at least even parallel. You can't bring this down any further, but I think that still works with the AMVR. Um, you kind of got a cushioning up here and you've got this on your forehead. So that actually feels really nice and comfortable, I think. This rear pad is really nice. It really comes over the top back of your head. So it kind of like is even more like a baseball cap uh, to wear. And um, yeah, loving that. That's really, really nice. And I've got charging on pass through. If I take the battery out, it stops. I put it back on, it beeps and a quest is charging again. So that's really cool. So that 26% is the power of the battery pack. Uh, the fan, as far as I know, isn't spinning yet. So this dial on the side here should start that fan. There we go. So I don't know if you can see the fan there. So if I slow it down, and I can barely hear it now, just about hear it, but that's it, probably zero, whatever that says. And one, two, three, four. So four slide ups and whatever that is, I can, it's a little bit more noticeable and I'm starting to feel the fan going into roughly around my forehead, kind of like this area here around me. One, two, three. Now I can definitely hear it. More air passing through. And it kind of like cools your forehead rather than into your facial mask that might be different if you've got the stock interface because this will be further down above the headset i quite like this though it cools your forehead and i don't like the wind going through my eyes okay that's the max so it beeps when it's at max so that probably say 100 percent now it's a much more higher pitch wine not blowing as much as i thought it would but um i definitely would think that it's definitely clearing the headset if uh if it was foggy at the sacrifice of, of the noise, basically. So if I tap it once, it instantly shuts down. Tap it again, does it save the setting? Yep, it does. And I'll bring this down. So you can have it actively on, really can't hear it, even on silent gaming or anything like that. And you've got a very small, you've got a kind of small breeze uh, at the lowest setting. So to take it off, you just slide that up and bring it off. And we are at 23%, no, 34%. 50% you're definitely, it's definitely audible. I'll say at 20% and it is slowly spinning. I can't hear that, so that's really good. So as anything, it definitely feels more weighty because you've got everything on the top of your, the crown of your head, but it's definitely balancing it really, really well.
Yeah, this is a winner. This is definitely a keeper. I'm liking this. I was probably pro Halo over Elite in terms of the straps. Elites are great, or the Elite style of head straps are great if you're using them for fitness. You could use this for fitness, but um, you will get a little bit side wobble if you're using any sort of fast paced stuff. I would say for fitness, Elite straps are better because you can have them much more tighter, but this really does cradle your head like a Halo would do. And it, it makes it really nice and comfortable. Yeah. Uh, lots of really nice padding on the inside. That on top of your head here works really, really well. And these, I don't even feel these. I uh, forgot that they were even there. <laughs> and the rear pad is super comfortable. So let's try this little honeycomb one. So we just peel this back part out. There's a lot less Velcro than normal than some others out there. And we'll just place this in. It is weird that they give you just one and not both. Maybe they had feedback that uh, not many people use the top part for the honeycomb. So they thought, why why add it if not many people use it? But I think that would have been a nicer touch. Um, this probably hasn't been stuck down as well. Because there's no Velcro here, uh, it starts to buckle because there's nothing else to it to attach to. I think they should have had that all the way around in, in um, Velcro personally, because it does look a little bit less pro now with it being like that, because it's very easy to be to appear looser. Okay, so that's the best that I can do. That's that honeycomb there. And we'll get that on the back of our head again. Okay. All right, so I'd say that's probably not as comfortable. I'd say if you've got lots of hair at the back, that might help. I prefer the the padding at the back personally it's not really that much uh, different but i think it cradles the head a little bit better because you've got the top cradling here you kind of want something equal to cradle the back of your head but i would say maybe if you've got a shaved head all the way at the back i mean mine's not down to the skin but i'll say if you if you do maybe that honeycomb fabric is going to grip a little bit better but um personally i think i'd go back to that it feels a little bit too thin which makes you feel the top pad more so overall i probably would swap it back okay so that's the bobo s3 pro a big improvement over the m3 pro whether you actually want to spend that much money though because of the fan and the computer the adjustable arms and the improved battery pack you've got to weigh those out and see if that's actually more beneficial for you over the m3 pro i would say personally if they could provide that battery pack on the m3 pro without this and without the front fan and make it cheaper that probably would have been my go-to i probably wouldn't have gone for this then but for the british equivalent of 40 pound more you probably are getting 40 ish pounds maybe i'd say it's justified of additional features but are they really necessary for the majority of us really i don't really necessarily suffer with fogging so i don't think i'd probably use this but it might be nice to have in the summer it is nice to see the battery level on this side here but i think this is probably only needed to tell you how fast that fan's going other than that that would be a bit redundant these i couldn't really feel probably had them up too high but uh that's still comfortable as the previous one was but it's nice that it's now adjustable and as for the rear pads there is some sort of rotation there at the back which probably helps that cup over looks better but i think this also is on the m3 pro so it comes down to the battery and if they're not supporting it on their M3 Pro, which they might be now, then I'd maybe go for the M3 Pro if it can come with this battery and save yourself a bit of money. We have seen that it works with the AMVR facial interface if you've got that already. It's not a total deal breaker. The only sacrifice that you might be having is the cooling. It might not be so or as efficient, but we've seen that it works. Uh, it's super comfortable, lots to like here. So I'm pretty happy with that. So the S3 Pro from Bobo retails for currently 83 pounds or the equivalent in your own currency and personally it is a little bit of a stretch for a head strap but considering the MetaQuest 3's battery strap is 129 pounds and you can get this for 83 currently then I think this is probably miles better more bang for your buck than the official elite strap is and as for other contenders of halo straps this is still going to give you more value for your money personally if you don't mind putting out the initial outlay to buy it so all in all if you are looking for a halo strap this is the one to beat right now all right thanks for watching and i hope you found this video helpful give us a thumbs up if it has and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this bobo s3 pro head strap for the oculus quest 3 you can support the channel by sending us a super thanks along with your comment or question thanks again for watching and i'll see you on the next one cheers Bye.